This week's Torah portion always falls out during the week that contains the seventh day of the Jewish month of Adar, the day on which Moses, Moshe, was born and on which he died. But he gets a very strange birthday slash Yortzite present this week because this week's portion is the only one that doesn't mention Moshe's name, beginning with the one in which he's born all the way through the end of the Torah. Why? The commentaries explain that in next week's Torah portion, in the immediate aftermath of the sin of the golden calf, Moshe begged God to forgive the Jewish people. And he said to God, if you're not willing to do that, then wipe my name out from your book, from your holy Torah. Now, God did end up forgiving the Jewish people, but we have a principle. If a truly righteous person issues an ultimatum, even a conditional one, it has to at least in some fashion come true. So perforce, God had to write Moshe's name out of a portion of the Torah. But why this portion? Perhaps because this is the one in which Aharon, Aaron, Moshe's brother, is front and center. This is the total portion that details the sartorial splendor of the sacerdotal vestments, or in plain English, the beauty of the garments that the high priest Aharon wore. And so God, with Moshe's consent, if not suggestion, is teaching us a lesson. How to act when it's someone else's party. How to act on someone else's big day, especially if you're the kind of person that usually commands attention. How should you act? Defer. Make yourself invisible. Don't take away any eyeballs from them. Retreat to the shadows. And that's what Moshe is doing on Aaron's big day, in Aaron's portion. And this serves as such a beautiful counterweight to an earlier story, when Moshe is standing at the burning bush arguing with God repeatedly because he does not want to take over as the leader of the Jewish people. He doesn't want to take away the leadership position from his brother Aaron until finally God tells Moshe, don't worry, Aaron's coming to greet you as the new leader. And he's rejoicing in his heart. He's not just plastering a fake smile on his face. It's a real one. He's so happy for you. And Moshe is just as happy for his brother now on his brother's big day. So he retreats to the shadows, makes himself invisible. So this week's total portion is a double consecration. One, of Aharon as the high priest. And two, of Moshe as the humblest person who ever lived. So what a fitting epitaph, eulogy, birthday, and your sight present for Moshe. Thank you.